Next, I actually do want to have a conversation. Um, I'm going to invite Fareed from Kone up, and we're going to have a talk about how Kone is using Cloud Foundry to support um, a very specific industrial use case. So, Fareed, come on up. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for you having have me. Have a seat. Thank you. All right, let me get my notes here. Sure. Otherwise, I'll ramble aimlessly. I'll try to sneak, sneak. Excellent. So, so why don't we first start with, uh, can you introduce yourself and, um, and I think tell others, what, what does Kone do? Sure. Kone is a manufacturer of uh, elevators, escalators, and automatic doors. Um, we build both hardware and software for, for our, our products. Um, I'm leading the IoT architecture team uh, in, in Kone. Um, additionally, we also provide maintenance uh, and residential services for, for our users. So all the products that we actually uh, manufacture, we also service them uh, ourselves. So we have large number of service technicians who are visiting the sites and, and maintaining those equipment. Um, as well as we are now starting to provide uh, new services for our residential customers as well. So passengers would be able to uh, call the elevators remotely. So imagine the scenario that uh, you wake up, you get ready to go to work, and uh, already in your apartment, you call the elevator that by the time I reach the lobby, the elevator should be waiting for me. So that's, for example, one of the use case that, that we have accomplished with, with Cloud So, so I, I'm, I must be dense, because I, I frankly didn't know about Kone until we had our first conversation. But now I notice that the, the elevator in the hotel um, that, that I'm staying at is, is from Kone. Um, does the app work yet? Because I've had to wait a couple times. It does, but probably not for that building. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll, ask, I'll ask the concierge. So, so we, we are still uh, building those applications. So IBM yeah. is basically our uh, main partner in mm -hmm. the IoT development that we are doing together with uh, Bluemix, which is essentially based on uh, uh, Cloud Foundry for sure. the versions that, that we're using in the public cloud. We are building applications on Liberty Java Runtime and, um, and Node.js. Um, applications like uh, how we manage our devices. So essentially, we use Watson IoT platform to uh, perform device management operations like updating remote configurations, updating remote software. Uh, but those are key functionalities that we use from Watson IoT. Essentially, that is a, a product uh, as available as a service. But there are a lot of things which are then Kone-specific, which are unique to our business use cases and our business model. Uh, and those um, kind of business logic and, and, and kind of the part of the business processes we have implemented then as uh, node runtime applications on Cloud Foundry. Mm -hmm. So essentially, we are using both the service aspect of Cloud Foundry and the application aspect, the application runtime aspect of. Yeah, and, and I think you, you told me uh, when we were speaking earlier that, that you're making use of not just, the, not just the Cloud Foundry runtimes, but some of the services, the backing services that are um, unique to IBM. So you're, you're using, I believe, the Watson IoT service? Sure. It's uh, mainly our IoT platform is connected with the Watson IoT services, but then a lot of the applications that we are developing that are then used by our uh, maintenance technicians to diagnose our elevators and our residential customers to call the elevators are based on uh, Node and Java runtime applications, which then use services like uh, Kafka queues or, or Message Hub from Bluemix perspective or Swift or object storage. Uh, so a lot of open source uh, platform and, and, and services yeah. like CouchDB and, and Cloudant and, and so on are used uh, as part of our portfolio. Great. So one, one of the things we frequently hear when um, somebody comes up to tell us about their, their story of adoption of, of Cloud Foundry or you know, one of the distributions um, is that frequently it's, it's a process of adopting uh, organizational change at the same time as you do the technology change. But sure. you had a slightly different story. Yeah, we have been um, developing software for long periods of time. So all the elevators and escalators that we manufacture actually have Kone designed and developed software. 
so for our software development department, we have been using Agile and Safe Framework for, for several years now. So when we started doing our IoT development, our IoT program was simply an add-on to our, our existing uh, Lyft software and PeopleFlow software and other software programs that we have already in, in our organization. So it was quite an easy fit. We have quarterly planning, teams get together from IoT teams to, to device development teams to group development teams. All these teams get together and we build uh, the, the plan, the software development together. Cool, cool. Why don't you walk through one of the example applications that, that you've developed? Um, sure, sure. You talked about API wrapping, that, that type of thing. Yeah, so um, these are the examples that we just discussed are mainly on, mainly on how we are configuring and, and controlling our elevators remotely. But at the same time, we are uh, developing and evolving an ecosystem around uh, the residential and people flow uh, business areas. So uh, if you're interested, and I would recommend that you go and visit developer-api.kone.com, um, and you will see a, a list of APIs that developers can actually use to build their own applications. Uh, and those APIs are then built on API Connect, uh, which is then again another service that we use from IBM Bluemix, uh, essentially running on Cloud Foundry. And the Supporting business logic for those APIs are again built as as Node runtimes sure. and, and and Java applications. Sure. So what's interesting is that you're you're kind of becoming a um, or you're hoping to have a bit of a technology platform business model where uh, you know a lot sure. a, you you have devices everywhere and that that has a lot of data and has a lot of potential for interesting use cases. Um, so what what are some of the things you've been doing to try to create a developer ecosystem? Um, and inspire developers to, to work with your APIs? Uh, we have been partnering with a uh, different uh, small to medium sized uh, company. So uh, we have partners from companies from Estonia, uh, naturally closer fit to, to Finland to start with, and, and, and companies from all over the world, where we are working directly with those partners and registering those partners as our API users. So essentially we are uh, trusting them to be part of the ecosystem to yeah. build the applications together with us that then our end users and, and customers uh, can use. At the same time, internally within Kone, we are also building applications using those same APIs to help our passengers and, and users use those, those equipment and, and, and services. Excellent. Excellent. So you, you're at the Cloud Foundry Summit, and there's a number of people here that um, lots of them use Cloud Foundry, but there are some developers and, and project leads that are part of the community. So can you maybe give us a couple of examples of things that you'd like to see out of the upstream sure. so that, that IBM can productize? Sure, it sure, sure. Um, yeah, so it, it, it's always challenging because things are developed and, and released from Cloud Foundry and productize, and then IBM takes them in and uh, releases them and then eventually they become available for the customer. But some of the things that we have been really looking forward to, and okay, uh, I was in, in some of the sessions yesterday for UAA and I understood that those are actually now on the roadmap and coming soon. So one of the things which is interesting is fine-grained access control and, and fine-grained user management, which we are really uh, looking forward to so that we can, uh, we are able to work with multiple development partners in similar spaces or organization or in similar uh, runtime environments where we can limit the access for those users or, or developers as we would please. Yeah, it's actually um, a request that we've heard from a lot of end users, and, and I think just as uh, importantly, um, the, the community responded, the project just got spun up specifically to go you know, do a lot of that work in combination with our UAA project team. So, so hopefully, it gets done. It gets done sure. in a way that is helpful to you. And um, right. I'd encourage you to, to interact with the, the project teams Definitely. so that you can be Definitely. someone who's feeding you know, your use case examples. Definitely. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. Great, to, great to be All here. Right. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much.